All right, let's keep going. This You just got me depressed, but <laughs> do you all remember that nurse in California that killed six people due to her reckless driving? Remember that at that intersection and she blew all those cars up? Well, her name is Nicole Linton, and her defense attorney is making a questionable claim and calling upon a neurologist, y'all, to argue that Nicole had a seizure and froze which caused the car crash. Now her attorney said, everything that the doctor has reviewed is consistent with her having a seizure. Nicole wasn't sleeping for days and insomnia can cause seizures. Now, I don't know, Q, mm, are you buying this argument? Ain't nobody buying this, but, but listen, I, I, I'm not mad, right? Like the whole objective of hiring an attorney is for them to do anything to get you off by hook or by crook. You know what I'm saying? That is their job. So I'm not mad at the attorney for doing their job. But no, we're not buying this because, correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't the story she was upset, she, she said she was going to kill herself, or she got in an argument with somebody, and then she ran through the damn intersection? It, didn't it go something like that? Yeah, I, I felt like there was some type of trauma that she was battling. Yeah, it was something she had went through, mm -hmm. depression and all this. Right. I mean, now listen, this is this is clever. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, if the jury buys it, and if the doctor is willing to put his medical license on the line and say she had a seizure, I mean, if, if somebody had a seizure at, 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 at the wheel, obviously they're not in control of what they're doing. So the helper just might get off. Um, well, if the jury buys it. Right. Well, before we go to you, Claudia, let's examine her driving history, though, because we know in 2013 she got in a car accident in uh, Texas, um, and it was because she stalled at a light. So she 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 failed to accelerate. So someone ran in the back of her. In 2016, she had the exact same accident. And what's so interesting, if you if you're following this story, her sister has created a blog, and on the blog she said her sister was diagnosed with bipolar and what many thought was medical epilepsy in 2018. So the question here to me is, is with all these car accidents, why is she still driving? Why yeah. does she still have her driver's license? I don't think this is on purpose at all. I really don't. And I, I, I think it makes actually absolute sense. If y'all saw her reaction, she was devastated when she found out what she did. I don't think this woman intentionally plowed into those people. I don't. I don't. I think there was, there could have been a medical thing. Why, why would anyone do that? Why would anyone risk not even their own life, you know, right, to like right. to hurt people at a, at a random stoplight and people can have seizures. People can be going through something. People could hit the wrong pedal. She definitely isn't a good driver, but I don't think she intentionally did this. I don't think this is, I don't think this is, I don't think she had, you know, evil intent. I don't. I'm gonna tell y'all a funny story really quickly. So my, my grandmother, she was, my grandmother's apostolic and she would listen to her church tape all the time when she picked us up from school and run her errands. We, we weren't allowed to listen to like the radio in her car. And my grandmother conveniently would always catch the Holy Ghost at the stoplight. <laughs> she <would be> like, <laughs> Glory! <laughs> while she was driving and we used to be scared as shit as little kids. And I'm gonna tell you something. If for one reason and one reason only I believe in the Holy Ghost is because that bitch never led us into the middle of traffic, okay? <laughs> that's a good one. I keep, that's funny. 